things have been kind of rough, right? But we've survived. And right now, we have the law of small numbers on our side. Things will get better. And you've got the one shining star, right? People like me and you that know the inherent value, the fundamental story that's supportive for gold, silver, and the precious metal mining stocks. You're an investor. Gold, silver, precious metal mining stocks. Are you in need of some good news? Well, I've got it for you today. Welcome to Ron's Basement. I'm glad you're here. You're always welcome. Now let's talk about this good news. Look, we know gold, silver, precious metal mining stocks are generally hated by the financial planning community, probably because they haven't figured out a way to make big commissions off of them. But we'll leave that for another video. Let's stick to the facts. 99 out of 100 financial planners, Wall Street analysts, whatever, people in the financial services industry do not like our friends, gold, silver, and the precious metal mining stocks. Now, think about, this is some good news. Think about this. Think about this. You got 99 people that ignore it, don't like it, don't recommend it, and you've got the one shining star right? People like me and you that know the inherent value, the fundamental story that's supportive for gold, silver, and the precious metal mining stocks. There's just one of us and there's 99 of them. The one of us is supporting the current price of the mining stocks and the precious metals right now. When conditions change and people wake up, Let's just say out of that 99 that don't like precious metals, one of them sees the light and comes over to our side. That doubles. We go from one to two. That's the beauty of starting from a small number. We've survived being the one lone person over in the corner. We're doing fine. But when just one of those people comes and joins us, we double. What if two or three of those people, if two of them join us, we actually triple. If three of them join us, we've got four times as much money coming into the sector. And this is further supported by the fact that I've heard many of the uh, esteemed analysts in the precious metals mining sector say that only 0.05% of the financial assets of the world are invested in precious metals and related investments. Traditionally, that number has been more like one and a half or two percent. So this idea that we could see double or triple the amount of money in the sector, this isn't just pie in the sky, fluffy, Ron dreaming up crazy stuff, maybe too much carbon monoxide in the basement. No, this is real. And if things really get crazy in the economy and everything else, maybe 4% or 5% of the financial asset money comes into precious metals, gold, silver, precious metal mining stock related investments. It has been that high in the past. So look, things have been kind of rough, right? But we've survived. And right now we have the law of small numbers on our side. Things will get better. I'm glad you the one and only you, your mommy loves you. I'm glad you're here in the basement with me. You're always welcome to come back. Until next time, take care of yourself and be well.